On the west side of the Mississippi River, we have a, a levee, you know, the same levee that comes all the way down the river, and it actually stops the river from going through and getting into the marsh on that side. Therefore, that marsh is either dead and gone or dying. Versus on the east side, like right now, the river is 17 foot and the levee ends north of here. So all that fresh water is going out through those marshes. And if you go and look at that marsh, it's, it's actually, it's, it's a subtropical climate and it's just lush, I mean, vines and just, Beautiful green vegetation everywhere you look. There was, prior to 1926, we believe, an artificial river levee to protect communities down here. Uh, we believe in 1926, the artificial river levee was removed, and essentially uh, this was allowed to once again function more or less as a natural landscape. So in, in this year, in 2011, we're seeing high water on the river. The theory would be that uh, the, this river water prov would provide nutrients and sediments and, and uh, alter the salinity for a short time period, all part of some sort of natural process of invigorating the marsh, helping it grow and sustain itself. But that's never really been documented uh, in the field on the Mississippi River because almost everywhere as we have a river levee. So what we're trying to basically is investigate that basic theory of how the river functions in a natural way and helps sustain uh, the marshes. When Mother Nature put the river through before we built our man-made levees, it put the fresh water through and that's the natural way to do it. Right now we're missing a great opportunity for sediment and fresh water if we're going to save Louisiana.